This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehra Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the top view and in the top view, first of all, I will draw this circle. And this circle has a radius of 90 units. Then we can see we have another semicircle here. So for this semicircle, I will draw another circle. And this circle will be 19 radius and here we can see we have a vertical line here and this vertical line has a dimension of 38 so first i will as this radius is 19 so this total line of from the center line will be 38 and in this 38 line i will draw a center line and from that center line i will offset this line and this line is distance of 19 plus 3 unit because we can see the radius is 3 unit so it will be uh, total distance will be 19 plus 3 unit and after drawing this line then i will draw a vertical line in this line this vertical line dimension will be 3 unit because the radius is 3 unit then i will draw and uh, then i will draw this line and this line has a dimension of 88 minus 38 divided by 2 then i'll list it to and then i will draw, draw a line of 30 unit then i'll again join this line and then after that i will trim all the unnecessary part and after trimming the part i will list to it to 40 unit plus 10 unit because this is to dimension has 40 unit dimension and this extra portion has 10 unit dimension so total dimension will be 50 unit so let's start so first of all i'm selecting the top plane now sketch now normal to it after that select the circle and place the circle to here now dimension it to 19 diameter after that again place another circle here and draw a, a cycle of 19 radius so the diameter will be 19 multiplied by 2 now i am selecting the center line so place the center line here and draw a center line of 38 unit then from this center line i will draw another offset line here so select the offset line now select this line reverse the direction now offset a line of 19 plus 3 unit okay now now press ok after that select a line and draw a horizontal line of 3 unit then a vertical line of 88 minus 38 divided by 2 unit now now draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line will be 13 unit after that we need to close the dimension so the total length is 88 we know then go go 30 unit dimension again now close the shape so after closing the shape we can see we have some extra lines so we need to trim all the extra lines so i am selecting the trim option and from the trim option uh, trim the extra lines that we don't need so i am trimming out all the extra line so before trimming out this extra portion you can see in our sketch if we think of there is a horizontal line here from this point so we'll draw two horizontal line so you can select line option place the line to here and draw a horizontal line and again in other portion also select line option and draw another horizontal line now it's time for trim that line so go to trim option and trim this extra portion so again trim this extra portion now you can see we have gotten our shape now it's time for doing the is to boss so so isometric it for a better view now go to features and now is to boss now is to boss it to 40 plus 10 unit okay after is to bossing when we, we need to draw the next shape 
so in here we can see the next shape it has a dimension of like this okay let me draw again it is quite like this one so now we need to draw a rectangle like, like this one so this rectangle has a dimension of 67 minus 26 and another dimension of 88 and from that rectangle uh, in here this point i will draw a circular pro circle and this circle has a dimension of 19 radius and from this circle and from this point i will draw two tangent line here and here then i will trim all the unnecessary part then i will extrude boss it then i will extrude boss it to 10 unit so let me demonstrate so i am selecting the top plane again now sketch now normal to it and after that select the corner rectangle place the corner rectangle here now dimension it to 88 by 67 minus 26 unit so now it's time for draw the circle and make sure it is in the dotted line and draw a circle of 19 radius so it will be, it will be 19 multiplied by 2 and from this circle we need to dimension it from this to this center point so go to my dimension and from this line to this line dimension it to 26 so as the dimension has been done now it's time for drawing the tangent line so select a line and place the line here and draw a tangent line so you can see the tangent icon has been shown so click ok and again in the same way again select line and draw another tangent line from this point okay so we have drawn our shape so in a, in, now it's time for trimming so i'm selecting the trim option now trim this part and this part so trim has been done so in here we can see we have a extrude cut cycle and this extrude cut cycle has a um, dimension of 10 diameter and this circle has has a distance of 36 from this point here and from this line to this line it has a dimension of 50 divided by 2 so it will be 25 and then i will draw a center line and mirror this another extrude cut circle so i am selecting a circle drawing a circle here and this circle is 10 diameter after that select the small dimension option select this circle and this center point and dimension from this center point is 36 unit so after drawing the 36 unit again we need to dimension it vertically so again, again selecting this those two point now dimension it to vertically 50 divided by 2 so it will be 25 now press ok now we need to draw another Stuttgart circle for that I will select a center line and from that center line I will mirror it so I have drawn a center line now, now go to mirror into this now into this to mirror so we need to mirror this part and mirror about this center line now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features now stood boss now stood boss it to 10 unit so after stood boss it to 10 unit we can see in our drawing we have a incline profile so before drawing this incline profile we can see we have a extra horizontal line this line and if we calculate this horizontal line it will be uh, 20 minus 13 and minus 3 so it will be 4 unit so and so this line will be 4 unit then i will draw an incline line and incline line this point has a dimension of from this line to this line it has a dimension of 67 and after drawing this incline line i will uh, rip this line so i will rip this line to 10 unit so i am selecting the front plane now sketch now normal to it now select line now draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 20 minus 13 minus 3 unit so it will be 4 unit automatically okay so after that i will draw an incline line here 
okay now it's time for dimensioning the incline line for dimensioning this incline line, incline line select this point and we need to dimension it from this line and it has a dimension of 67 unit so dimension it to 67 unit now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features now select the rib option now rib it to 10 unit because this is 10 unit now press ok so this profile has been and we can see we have almost drawn our shape now it's time for fill it so you can see in here this place and this place we have a fillet of 13 unit and in this corner and this corner we have a fillet of 3 unit and in here and in here we have a fillet of 6 unit so we have total fillet of uh, total 6 fillet so we are going to do that now so in here select the fillet option so first of all i will doing the 13 unit fillet so dimension it to 13 unit now select this line and rotate and select this line now press ok now i will do the fillet of 3 unit so go to fillet option again now dimension it to 3 unit now fillet it to 3 unit here and again another fillet in here 3 unit now press ok now the last one so the last one fillet is 6 unit so i'm dimensioning it to 6 unit now select this one and this one now press ok now i submit it for a better view as you can see in here this shape is quite symmetrical so if you draw the half shape like this portion or this portion then if you mirror the whole part then you will get this one so you can use the mirror mirror tools for doing that but i have done the full shape at a time so you can also draw this half part then mirror it to here or you can do draw this part firstly then mirror it to there it's all the same okay as we can see we have done our theory case thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different